Hello, I'm Marisol Miranda from Easy Equal Access to Software and Information and in this video I'm going to talk to you about what's a style in Microsoft Word and the benefits of using them to create accessible documents. A style is nothing more than a template where you can define how you want the different characteristics of the elements of your document to appear. For example, font, font size, font colors, alignment. We can also define how headings will be displayed. Word comes with a predefined style that it's called normal. You've probably had been asked when you are saving a document if you're sure that you want to modify it. Here we have the styles ribbon. You can see that it has several buttons with different titles like heading 1, heading 2, normal, etc. They all have a predefined format for each one of the elements mentioned in them, such as whether to be centered, bold, or other features. Formatting your document using the styles ribbon is really simple. You have to type your text without giving it any format. After doing that, select the item you want to add a style to and click on the button of the element you want the text to be for example, heading 1, that will turn your text to be font 16, Arial, bold, and align centered, that are the predefined settings for that heading. If you click on the tiny arrow behind Change Styles button, a new dialog box is going to appear with a list of all the elements that have a predefined format for you to use, so they all can be modified by you as well, but you must be aware of not modifying them from this window because you will be modifying the original ones and this may become a problem for you later if you want to put them back the way they were. The easiest way to do it is with, without any risk is to click on the new style button that it's located on the bottom left corner and this new dialog box is going to appear. It is here where you will have to select the new characteristics for the element. Why does using a style improve the accessibility of the documents created in Word? And what difference does it make to use the styles ribbon to give format to our documents rather than the format toolbar? The difference is meaningful and simple. If you format the text with a format toolbar, and we make it look font 16, Arial, bold, and centered, it might look exactly the same that if we click on the heading 1 button, but it is not going to be recognized as a header by any software. It is just going to be a big font bolded text. Word is an excellent software to create accessible content, and styles are an easy way to give a structure to the document so that visually things will make sense. In a document like in a book, we can read or notice what the relevant things are by skimming and jumping by headers. The same way that things make sense to us visually, screen reader users can also read skimming and jumping through a document because their screen reader can recognize what's a heading and what's not. And the same thing happens when you export your doc file as web page or PDF or DAISY format. Our style goes with the document and it can be recognized by the different uh, software as well. If for any reason you want to change how an element of the document look, rather than having to go one by one changing them with the format toolbar, we can create a new style and change them all with just one click. This is really a benefit when we modify the document to meet other people's needs. For example, if we have a person with low vision, we can create a new style for that person with probably a larger font and different color. Or we can change the line spacing for people with learning disabilities who need more spacing between lines of text. Styles also help us to make our document keyboard navigable 
which is good for blind people who use screen readers or for people with motor impairments because we can easily create a table of contents. Now, how to make a table of contents? When we use the styles, we can create it in seconds. First, you have to focus your cursor at the place where you want the table of contents. Then, go to the References tab and click on Table of Contents. Select the format of your preference, and as I just said, in seconds, you will see it to appear. This is possible because Word recognizes the different headers and can order them in a hierarchical way, the same way that the assistive technologies will recognize them. If you format your document with a format toolbar, the structure would be inaccessible to the assistive technologies. And if you want to create a table of contents the way I just described, it would be impossible as well. Thanks for watching this video and please come visit us to http colon slash slash easy e -A -S -I dot cc.